and this is kind of our cultural update for the week not really political news but we're gonna talk let's look at have you seen this the uh, uh let me see no i haven't seen this one put it on the screen there we go another this, yeah this so is, this <laughs> trans woman uh, uh win, wins the his eighth women's title in italy i and i think that's it breaks breaks the record so i guess that's a that's a record so okay let's see gee i wonder how that happened did you see the video yeah, that i think I, I, posted, I, think I posted on twitter i might have posted it on my personal facebook page today i'll send it to you after we end the stream but it was a video a oh. video compilation of the times men have beaten women in sports oh. and a lot of the times it's teenage boys beating professional women like the teenage boys soccer team has has beaten professional women's soccer teams. Like it's crazy. Yeah, I think I talked to when I was actually on our show last week with uh, with Carrie. We were talking about you know how mm -hmm. I, I've mentioned this a few times on different stuff. Is like a U fifteen boys soccer team beat the world's women's team, like the women's World Cup team. Because the advantage, yeah. the advantage yeah. gets the like. Puberty happens so quickly in males. Like the advantage gets mm -hmm. there so quickly that it's just, and you can never erase it. That's the problem, you know? But that's, yeah. So this is from Not the Bee, actually wrote this. So, but let's. See. Quinta, sesta, quarta corsia. Sanulli, Petrillo. You understand what they're saying, Ariel? Sanulli Petrillo. Oh my God! Look at the size. Petrillo sul finale. The crazy thing is that this person didn't even win by that much, but you could still see how much bigger and stronger that person is. No, exactly. It's I mean, and that's when they take the pictures and all that. I think there might there is a picture. Actually, it was. It was yeah. We got to much oh. taller. It's like there was that's also another video. Uh, of the re of a relay this week where the person that one I saw was like, the Hodge twins started. yeah <laughs> and their comments where, 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 the, where it was like oh hey I, oh yeah the Hodge that's, that's where I saw it yeah like like he she kept looking back like bitch you know like, <laughs> um I better I better slow it down otherwise I'm gonna make slow down a little bit this guy <laughs> <laughs> Ethan, Ethan and Kevin I can't their comments are hilarious. That was a good one too, it's but it's, it's the truth. The whole video, like not the whole video, but the whole very beginning, the beginning part of the video that the trans woman keeps looking behind, like is it, I thought she was supposed to be here by now. Like she, clearly the trans woman's used to racing with, with men. Yeah. Like, and then oh, you go, you go, oh. go down a level or, you, you know, you're going where you I don't want to say down a level, but you technically you are right. People aren't going to perform as well because we don't have the same hormones in our bodies our bone density and you know all that that stuff is different yeah no wonder yeah, I mean, when people I know are you've crashing records you've kind of yeah you've kind of been one of the biggest ones to kind of expose a lot of this the trans like especially in trans women and women's sports it's like it's just so ridiculous like how how do you think that that's fair and this is the thing is world um or at like I see the sports organizations are kind of going in one of two directions. Either now they're going in like full self ID, like US rowing went full self ID, or they're mm -hmm. completely banning. It's yeah. there's like not even very much of a middle ground anymore on it, which I don't think there should be. I think it should be a ban, you know. <laughs> but um actually, yeah, I this this is the one. I mean well, here's the thing. So, so I, I, if I can, I'd like to comment on this comment. So it's, this yeah. person said trans people deserve their own league. Interestingly enough, there was, it, uh, trans people did have their own league and it was, it was uh, done by the NHL, right? This was maybe what, maybe five, six months ago, the NHL created. It was, it was a few months ago. Yeah. A few months ago, the, the NHL, which is my favorite, my favorite league, National Hockey League, they created their own league for trans and non-binary people. And the same, just exactly what you would expect to happen had, had happened. A, a trans woman, I think, checked lightly a trans guy and knocked the guy out. Like, knocked the trans guy out. Yeah, because guess what? A huge concussion into the boards, yeah. 
and the trans guy is still a biological female and they and they went through male puberty and female puberty they're gonna have you're gonna have significant advantages or disadvantages disadvantages in that way and we don't care yeah. if it's it's not even the fact that you know that's oh there's a trans league now that's gonna be perfect no that you're still gonna you're still gonna come you're still going to come to the, the same the same type of problems, which is that biological males, generally speaking, have way more advantages than females if they have gone through. Yeah, I, I don't. Yeah, I don't mind um, the trans league like that as much, especially like with the uh, with the trans men. If they're if they've been on testosterone for a little while, they might be getting that advantage to a little bit closer air like it might get a little bit closer if they've been on hormones for a little bit um and actually i think especially like in that tournament you're right i mean it was interesting but that person also knew that they were stepping up into a league that biological males were playing it's kind of like a woman yeah. going and playing yeah. on the men's league yeah right. choosing to go into the men's league so i i still agree with um, that type of uh, setup, if you're going to choose to go play. No, I agree part. with it. I agree I with it too. I'm just, I'm just making the point that the same shit is yeah. going to happen. Yeah, biological yeah. males. No, you're absolutely are right. Still, right. That's um, yeah. No, I think trans leagues are great because it's giving people that 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 uh, that wouldn't be able to play at other leagues the chance to play, and it's also giving yeah. people the choice: Do I want to compete as a trans guy with a, uh, as a female with a biological male trans woman like? Whereas in other leagues, that's not happening. The biological females are not given the choice. They just have to, yeah. to deal with it. And I, I mentioned something yeah. like that in my video, on, uh, my video that I posted yesterday. It's a very, it's interesting because these trans, these trans women that are always complaining about these types of things, like what, why aren't I allowed to play in this league? And why, how come I'm a woman? How come I can't do this, this, and this? And it's like most of society and most of these businesses and you, you spoke about it too recently most of the businesses in society in general are on currently on the sides of trans people right they don't want to be called bigots they don't want to get canceled whatever and interestingly enough it's that person that that calls themselves a woman even if they are legitimately transgender even if they are presenting as a woman whatever they're still experiencing male privilege in a very unique way and i think that's something to be mentioned absolutely well and that's what's really interesting is because yeah you want to erase male you want to erase privilege you know male privilege and toxic masculinity but that's that's what's making trans people look bad is the males mm -hmm. who don't who, who are acting like men you know talk like the worst kind of like men. The, it's <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah the worst of it's it's awful is, is getting yeah. And that was actually remember last week on your show, we, we showed a video and then I found out that that person had been like redeemed. Like, yes, remember you there was that somebody video. we talked about. There was somebody that we spoke about last week and um, I, I don't remember what they were saying, but it was. They were, was they were yelling at the Popeyes. Yeah. That's and it was just okay. Awful. It was a fast food. Yes. They were yelling at the fast food people. I, I have, t I have big tits. How could you call me a sir? You're calling me a sir, blah, 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 blah. Turns out, interesting. That was it was an old video, which which is good because they all had COVID masks on and stuff. But um, yeah. you made a great point, which is something that I probably need to be more aware of, which is checking up on people that I am criticizing because a lot of people's views have yeah. changed since then. And it yeah, turns so out that the was interesting. Criticized on the stream follows me, <laughs> so that's how you know <laughs> that, that trans woman is actually has actually woken up, and it's it's a, it's a great thing. Yeah. And that's what I, I actually saw. Yeah, we, we came off of that, and I was like, "How old is this video?" Yeah, yeah I, was like, the, I mean, the COVID video. Match well, but like you said, there are still places that are wearing the masks in there different are some places areas still of New there. York and stuff like that. And so mm -hmm. you don't know, but um, yeah, I was like, I got off of there, and I saw somebody else commented on the main post, and I was like, "Wait a second, I've actually." This person I follow and they follow me. I'm like, wait a second. They are they, their complete character arc has has been has been to come to our side, which is really which is it's great. awesome to see people waking up like that and kind of acknowledging yeah. that they were not in a good place at that point. And and yeah. it kind of it really does give you hope. And then I was like, I I, I did I, I felt bad because we were talking. You know? I know. No, I think I followed her. But the problem is, I think I her. yeah, because the problem is is. That's what I don't like about some of those accounts. And actually, that that account that you, we were watching ended up getting suspended from Twitter. Um, uh, Laura but, Hobbs, name. Yeah, 
Yeah, and it, it was like I was like, when you, but she has to live that video so much, and that's what I don't like about she's the just, internet. She's sometimes. Just, her. Yeah. yeah. Well, but even like, remember there was a video that was going around like a month ago of Lady Gaga back in like 2010, like she was getting somebody she was having somebody puke on her when she was playing the drums or something it was really just yes, a I weird remember. video but it was 10 right. years old <laughs> yeah, yeah like come on it's still a little weird but that's why you want somebody to puke on you but yes that, it was but that was also when she was doing all sorts of crazy stuff you know like trying yeah, to get her name out. like that was yeah yeah you know she's uh, she's changed a lot since then too and actually become like just a really seemingly like really good person and that's not doing all that crazy stuff to try to get attention. Yeah. Um, yeah, she, she got the attention and then now once the eyes were on her, we're like, oh, she's very talented. So she doesn't need, necessarily need to garner that attention anymore. Yeah. She already has it. Yeah, because she's, she's crazy talented. talented. She is really talented. Like she's a good actress. Just she's and a good Italian, so There she you go. <laughs> But going back though too, it's like there was the uh, like you talked about with the other runner. Um, that runner apparently it was like a high school student and was basically had zero grace. Was like did in the interview say told just told people to get over it. Now you got to get over yeah. it like that. I, that's Which what is they a said. very it's male like, thing to do. It's a very male thing to do. Yeah. It, it men, really men don't I mean, have generally, of course, everything that I'm saying is general. Men generally do not have as much empathy compared to women. Women have more empathy. You want to be seen as a woman. You want to want me to believe that you're a woman and treat you like such, then act like one. Be very aware of the space you take up. Men, they sit yeah. with their legs open. Women, they usually sit with their legs closed. It, it, it's just, it's a societal, cultural thing. It's true. Why? Yeah. It's true. Well, they also have, they also have, I also have a penis, are, so they you, have to start with their legs you're open. A woman, <laughs> yeah, you, you're, you, you are more aware of the space you take up. It's a thing. No, you're right. I actually, I noticed that the guy that was sitting next to me on the airplane was kind of encroaching on my space the, a little bit. And I sit on the end, so it's not really, I always sit in the, on the aisle seat, so it's, it wasn't really a mm -hmm. big issue. But I was just like, hmm, how am I supposed to plug my phone in when your leg's in the way? And your leg is touching my thigh. Remember Sydney? I don't like this. Remember Sydney's Twitter? <laughs> what, oh, my God. Yeah, I was I talking to her while all that was going on. I was supposed to be What's the that? one on that plane. <laughs> Vice originally what? asked me to be in that video, and I couldn't be in it because I was on a road trip with my friend. So I, yeah, I but said, you wanted to be on that plane because she was too. flying back to Texas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I, I remember I told you that story. I was supposed to be on there too i actually asked you if you were going to be there because i was like hey i, was I just got contacted by the producer mm -hmm. i was contacted by the producer and then um i couldn't like what immediately the jump onto an interview with them was it What's feminist that? The fem i was feminists versus anti-feminist something like that yeah right and, the trans person um, and, the and so it was a lefty yeah, because I was and, talking uh, to sydney when all that was going on because i saw that she was she had filmed that and i was like Cause I saw her Instagram story and I was like, talk to her. I'm like, I'm so upset. And then she told me Eli was on it. And I was like, now I'm really upset because not only did I not get to meet Sydney in person, I also couldn't just shut Eli down. Oh, you would have destroyed her. Thing. I don't want to say her, but yeah. whatever. Like, you destroyed her. I don't, you destroyed yeah. her. I just, yeah. it, it, it was upsetting. You know, what's interesting i think i was talking about this with carrie last week too you know i i've kind of had my own like dilemmas about some of this stuff um one of the dilemmas is even playing recreational sports and since i'm mm -hmm. playing pickleball every my coordinator keeps wanting me to play in tournaments and I, like because they're having tournaments they're like you playing i'm like no i'm not playing but i'm like what what, what do i what would do I, what I do it's not for any money or anything but like that but i'm like it still would be unfair for me to play in the female category i'm like i don't so I just haven't played. Yeah, I mean, to be to be honest, I don't think people would find an issue with you because you're very small. What are you, three inches tall? But I'm really good. Yeah, maybe. Well, I'm really good. I don't think people. Have I've that gotten much I've gotten really I've gotten really good. I I was a natural at the game, Ariel. You saw it. <laughs> <laughs> you were good at the beginning. You were very good. But and that was yeah, that was almost. Um, it was almost a year ago, yeah. 
Maybe when Over you come here. up, we'll go play. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll bring my paddle. We're gonna go play. Yeah, sure. we'll go up. We'll go up to the gym and play. Yeah. They they have uh, yeah they'll have open open play when we go up there, and it's mm-hmm. actually Tuesday nights they have uh, advanced, which is generally four O's and above. I've not played up there when they do that, but they would probably welcome us. I'm a good solid three eight four O at the moment. Yeah, we're getting there. I'm so, a three. Yeah. I'm I'm about a three five. So you're probably a three five. Yeah, yeah, that's good though. That's excellent. That's what most people yeah. are. Most people are three five. Yeah. You get the most games. Yeah, that's that's what we get. Um, mm-hmm. And well, and then, um, but then doing panels like that, like doing like feminist panels, I had to really kind of think through my thoughts on doing feminist panels because I did um, a panel at Freedom Fest last year that was why free speech is a feminist issue. And that's mm-hmm. what the whole funny thing was actually nobody on this panel was a feminist except for Ivan's O'Brien, who was like the moderator. It was me, uh, Salome, Olivia Rondeau and Terry Kibbe. And all of us, everybody was like, we're not really feminists. And Olivia was like, I don't know why I'm on this panel. I'm not really a feminist. And that's when I was like, I don't know why I'm on this panel. I'm not really a woman. Yes, so. not. I, filmed, I filmed with her. Yeah. I filmed with her when I was in LA. I fucking love her by the way. The, the opening to our video was like, she's like, what did she say? She's like, yeah, I'm half black and half gay. <laughs> She's actually here this week in Atlanta, so we're gonna hang, sure out hang out on Thursday. Yeah. yeah, we're going out Thursday. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and so I, but I, I really, when I thought through it, I was like, you know, why wouldn't I be on a feminist panel if I want to make women realize that I'm not a threat? And most trans people are not a threat, and I really want to get my message to the point. Why wouldn't I go mm-hmm. on a panel where I'm speaking to women? You know, it's not really yeah. me. It, it's like people would be like, well, why would you, you would be on there? You would be taking up a woman's spot. I'm like, well, like the vice panel, it wasn't a women's panel. It was just it was a vice panel no. and they could have chose whoever they wanted. It right. wasn't a, a, a woman's panel talking about feminism. It, I understand that you would have mostly women on there talking about feminism. But to have like a trans person like me on there and defending, you know, the fact that woman means adult human female that yeah, could have been really great. powerful I think, I think that's the only way people there's just, having somebody like you or blair or buck is unfortunately the only way a lot of these people are even going to listen it's unfortunate it's the same it's the same in the black in the black in, in but with black people right uh, like you Please could tell people over over whatever, whatever isn't racist or whatever we said isn't racist but unless you hear from a black person they're going to still call you racist yeah exactly but please don't put me in your trunk I don't want to be in there. <laughs> my friend Mel, my friend Mel said she wants to go play pickleball with us. Mel, once you get better, I'll think about it. I heard you were playing like shit lately. She was text, she was texting me earlier this morning. She's like, oh she's yeah, like, oh, I play like my back. Yeah, I'm like, we're getting old. We're getting old. But yeah, is that, Mel, is that down Mel. there? In, is that down there in Florida or up north? No, Mel's in, up in uh, Illinois. Oh okay. She's a Oh yeah, but um, I'm sure she's played other places too. She's a truck driver. She drives everywhere. Oh, actually, I know people. Yeah, you take your paddles anywhere, and you can usually find a place yeah. to play. My friend Chris is in Mexico. Yeah. He's like, should I take my paddle? I'm like, they will have pickleball courts there. Of course they did. Yeah, yeah, they have them everywhere. I've thought about I. Typically, when I've been traveling, a lot of my locations have kind of been in the middle of nowhere. And then I was traveling. I went to Wisconsin and. Pennsylvania, so it's freezing up there right now. So I'm like, I'm not gonna be playing, but oh, so um, I'm not going to play soon. see, we have indoor pickleball courts at the gym. So yeah, yeah, we have indoor courts here.